National Shooting Sports Foundation has once again announced that August is National Shooting Sports Month. Governor Laura Kelly signed an official proclamation in observance of the month, highlighting the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks is not only responsible for the sound management and conservation of wildlife, but in also in teaching the principles of ethical hunting, firearm safety, and responsible firearm use. Mm -mm. The firearm industry contributed more than $500 million to the Kansas economy in 2022, and those engaged in shooting sports and hunting contributed more than $3 million in funding for Kansas wildlife and conservation practices. Agriculture is Kansas' number one industry, and being able to move equipment from field to field is critical. K-State's Ed Brokish talks about a law that Congress implemented, hopefully to reduce the number of incidences between drivers and agricultural machinery. There's a number of accidents happening across the country. The local legislatures are going to start passing laws that would create a patchwork of laws all across the state of the United States, which would make it really difficult. Basically, what it requires is that all equipment built since June of 2017 conform to the ASABE lighting and marking standards. And within that is the SMV signs and lights and turn signals and different things. Finally, the Kansas Rural Justice Initiative Committee will be in Great Bend August 24th and 25th for a community welcome event and committee meeting. Chief Justice Marla Luker created the committee in December of 2022 to examine the unmet legal needs in rural Kansas related to a shrinking number of attorneys living and working in rural areas. The agenda includes a community roundtable discussion during which legal professionals from the area will discuss how the attorney shortage has impacted their community. With My Town Media News, I'm Bruce.